Hey guys, it's Lala. Before I get into the video, check this out right here. This is the new Dollar Tree Addict Snow Globe Starbucks Tumbler that I made. It will be for sale in my Etsy shop next week. So make sure you're following me on Instagram or staying tuned here to my channel. And I'll tell you guys about the link to my Etsy shop. But today's video is going to be a recipe video. We're making air fryer Mexican pizzas. Hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the recipe. It was so delicious. Okay, so you're gonna need half a pound of extra lean ground beef. Uh, obviously this is more, I'm gonna be measuring this out. You can, you know, if you don't wanna use extra lean, you wanna use something else, that's fine. But if you're on WW, just make sure you adjust your points correctly. So I'm gonna be using this. You're gonna need four tortillas. I'm using the Extreme Wellness, the high fiber carb lean. I believe these are, I wanna say, two points per wrap. Again, all the points and stuff will be on the screen um, if I misspeak. Also, salsa, a can of uh, fat-free refried beans. This is the Casa Mamita brand. This is from Aldi's. Um, some red enchilada sauce. Packet of taco seasoning. Now, I don't count seasonings for points. Um, I believe the recipe calls for half a packet of this, also just so you know but I'm, I may use more, I'm just, it just depends. One Roma tomato, some shredded lettuce. I'm gonna shred that myself. It's um, also sour cream. Basically, you can put any other toppings you want on it. The tomato and the lettuce, the um, black olives are also an option. Greg doesn't eat those, so I'm not gonna cut those up. These are optional, but these are the main ingredients you need to cook it. So again, this is the Mexican air fryer pizzas. I have never made this before. It is my very first time. So we'll see how it turns out. But I'm going to go ahead first and brown my ground beef. And I may cut up an onion also and put it in there with the ground beef because I think we like onions. So I think I'm going to do that also. So I'm going to chop an onion and brown that with the hamburger meat. So I added ground beef and I added um, a little bit of red onion and then about a quarter of a red onion. And then I have a little more red onion raw if Greg or I wanna sprinkle it on top of our pizzas. So I'm just gonna finish cooking this and then I'll show you the next step with the, um, with the tortillas. Also, the recipe will be in the description box below if I didn't already say that. Because this is just, you know, me doing it for the first time. Okay, so the next step says for me to brush each tortilla with a little bit of oil, but I don't wanna brush it with oil. So I'm gonna just spray with canola oil and then you put it in your air fryer at 370 for two minutes. You do it for each one individually. Um, and you're gonna take a metal spoon and lay it on top of the tortilla. I'll show you when it's in there to keep it from like folding and all of that. So, all right. Here goes nothing. Okay, switching to a voiceover. So this is what it looks like. I just put the spoon across the tortilla. Now I did need to cook mine on the 370 for about five minutes each. That gave me, you know, the amount of brownness and crispiness that I wanted. And my next step is me, I'm going to just take the uh, refried beans and put those across the tortilla. It's hard to do with one hand. Um, off camera, I am gonna add my ground beef and salsa. And as you can see, it's in the air fryer. It's got the beans, the ground beef, and the salsa. I'm gonna cook this for the amount of time. I'm gonna put the time here on the screen because I currently don't remember. Um, you're gonna set your other tortilla on top. After it's cooked, this is what it looks like. And then I added my enchilada sauce, shredded cheese, and tomatoes. And then to kind of keep the tomatoes in place, I'm gonna add a little more shredded cheese to the top of it. And then again, I'll put how much longer that I put it in the air fryer here on the screen for you to see. Guys, this recipe was very filling for just one of these. It was really good in points. It was so good and Greg absolutely loved it. This is what it looked like. I added a little sour cream and guacamole to mine. You can do whatever you want. The recipe's in the description box. Make sure you guys try it out. 